80% of Japan want the Olympic Games to either be postponed or called off altogether. The polls were conducted by the Japanese news agency Kyoto and TBS, the Tokyo Broadcasting System. The Olympics is set to begin on July 23rd, but Tokyo is battling a surge of COVID-19 cases that forced the government last week to declare a state of emergency. Japan has had roughly 3,800 deaths due to COVID-19, and this poll further puts pressure on the government and the International Olympic Committee. We're joined by Kentaro Kumiya, Tokyo-based freelance journalist. Kentaro, thank you so, so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, and thanks for having me, Ryan. Of course, it's morning by you. Kentaro, we understand that a state of emergency has been declared across Tokyo. It's just about six months to the start of the Olympic Games. Are local organizing committee officials beginning to panic a little bit? Well, not really from the perspective of Japanese officials and politicians. So the Prime Minister of Japan, Yoshihide Suga, said last week that, uh, quote, we are determined to hold safe and peaceful Olympic Games. Uh, during the press conference where he announced the state of emergency in the Tokyo metro area because of the, the ongoing case spikes here. Uh, so Prime Minister Suga also said earlier this month that he wants to make the Summer Olympics, quote, uh, proof that humanity has defeated the virus. And other participants have also been still optimistic about hosting the, this event this summer. Uh, but the, the actual event planning has been affected. Uh, the Tokyo local government said last week some, that some torch relays in the city have been postponed to avoid mass gathering. And last month, Japan has already closed this, its borders basically to all foreigners due to the virus mutations found in UK and in South Africa until the end of January. Uh, also, most, more and more major Japanese athletes like karate or badminton players uh, have recently contracted the virus. Mm. You know, Dick Pound, the Canadian IOC member, stated that the Olympic Games may not happen because of the surge in the virus. What have you been hearing on the ground? Does that possibility exist? Well, again, like none of Japanese officials have retreated from believing in like a successful hosting of the event and the minimum concession they might accept it was just like in a crowdless, no spectator games, allowing only athletes around the world to come to Tokyo to play, but their fans and tourists wouldn't, couldn't be with them at the venues. Uh, for instance, uh, Yoshiro Mori, the president of the local organizing committee here, uh, recently told the Japanese media that uh, canceling or postponing the games, again, is not an option at all, and they will decide whether to allow live audience to watch the games. Uh, by March or to May, uh, May in the May at the latest, and one crucial factor uh, might be the COVID vaccines, of course. But in Japan, uh, unlike other developed countries, the authorization process is taking much longer here. Uh, Prime Minister Suga said last week that they are trying to start the vaccination campaign by late February, but right now only Pfizer, among other effective vaccine manufacturers, has applied for the authorization in Japan. Uh huh. Uh, can you paint us a picture, uh, Kantaro, of what it's like in Tokyo right now? H how bad is it? Sure, sure. So the Japan's state of emergency is different from lockdown imposed in other countries, like in which uh, this Japanese way does not have any legal penalty to those who break the rule and go out. Uh, so the government only the government only asks people not to go out, and only for restaurants and bars, the government has promised official aids of around 600 US dollars a day if they close their locations by 8 p.m. Uh, so with that, uh, in Tokyo areas, uh, the majority of people uh, seem to continue their pre-emergency lifestyle, uh, at least for the daytime right now. Uh, I went to downtown Tokyo yesterday and the subway trains had nearly, uh, nearly full passengers on the seats during the peak hours yesterday. And last week, uh, Tokyo confirmed on, uh, over 2,400 cases and, J and Japan as a whole saw nearly uh, 8,000 cases per day at the time last week. So these are the highest records so far. And it's still unclear if the outbreak is going to slow down soon with the emergency announcement, which is for now only planned for a month until uh, early February. And some health experts in Japan have said that one month will not be enough to contain the spread. And the government has implied too that they might be ready to extend it beyond February or geographically to other cities like Osaka, which is Japan's second largest metro area, and also seeing a rise in cases these days. Uh, Kantaro, how split is the Japanese public on whether these Olympic Games should go on? I saw the Associated Press, they did do a poll, and a lot of Japanese, especially 
Residents of Tokyo are saying that they don't want these games to go on. They want it cancelled or postponed. Sure, sure. On, on the level of the general public, uh, the majority opinion is actually against the, the, the planned execution of the event. Uh, according to the latest poll by the Kyoto News Agency in Japan that came over the weekend, 80% uh, of Japanese respondents say that the Olympics should be either cancelled or delayed again, postponed again. Wow. Uh, this, yeah, it's kind of a staggering number. And the right of people who is skeptical to the Olympics was around 60% last November, which was still the majority at the time, though. But with the recent rising cases, the, the pessimistic view has become much more prevent by now. So that's the reality now. Absolutely. Kentaro Komiya, thank you so much for giving us an insight into what's happening in Japan. We'll certainly be keeping in touch with you over the next six months as the Olympic Games near. Thank you. Great to be here. Appreciate it.